We just return to the ship at this point. Slash loot. So I do find it weird if there is stuff to loot off of mandrakes. Probably that's gone saying on the floor and that. Everybody's dead. Oi. Oh, time to leave. Good luck becoming Chaos Spawn. I mean, this is one of the points where I'd be like, blast the planet. Yeah, God just points. Happy thoughts. Yeah, my basement. Everything's rainbows and then they bump. Well, firing bullets in it. So you're the heavy state of the pyro f2 <laughs> why not <laughs> hmm what <laughs> lies beyond huh? yeah. mm. if i got it charge there you go this way now no i'm gonna get over there this loot Curiosity sings in my veins. Not fair. Alright, let's get out of here. The situation has become the situation. Now, I will say this, this game is very weird with its equipment. It's definitely based more upon the skills, because God is still using a gun from the start of the game. It don't matter. Hey. Yeah. Uh, I'll find a heavy bottle. I can, but I would have had to dedicate almost all my resources to one faction. Don't do that. <laughs> We've got my gun off a of boss. Just find me a better bottle. I think so. If I, if I come across I better for you, good. Otherwise, it's just a case of I keep finding tech that lets you shoot me. Hello. Oh yeah, I do two zone freeze damage, but I'm firing about 100 points. It counts. Soften them up, DD finishes. Or DD softens them up, and I finish. DD right now has a pair of swords that do effects. And then basically a um, thunder hammer for AoE. In general, DD can't kill. But if I can't soften and But Diddy doesn't actually generally um fight by fighting. Diddy fights by the fact that <clears throat> hide inside of enemy get swung at. Can I 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 can <sighs> also, at this point, you have a boilers heavy bolter. Please upgrade. No. Your backpack. Here we go to. When a weapon has five or more base fire rate, the hit chance of squares burst attacks decrease by three times BS bonus. Uh, 
Seven times three. And recall is the case. Zero recall plus 21% extra accuracy. Pretty much. And then your boots are like, if they're behind cover, increase uh, the cover efficiency by 40%. So, so fuck through your cover. And then um, every time you kill an enemy, you gain plus one rate of fire. I'm shooting a hole. And if people see people die from the range fire, they get confused. So all I'm hearing is, you've got all the slots and the equipment are perfect. And, the and, and then, and then, you gain extra percent damage times two of your rate of fire on your helmet. And then every time you damage two or more targets by an area attack, you basically get faster in initiative. Yeah, I need a new heavy ball that does more damage. Oh, by the way, you get to shoot more per turn the more turn you spend, not moving up to max of five. Plus, you have a skill that reduces how much your beaties cost. So by the end of it, you can fire your full 94 rounds after five turns if the combat lasts five. Uh, I yeah, your armor is ranged attacks. It's a melee range, which is how did you get that close in the first place? You don't have the best physical armor, but you have so much damage reduction versus ranged attacks, which are generally the only things that are going to be shooting you. Perfect for me. Plus, you know, you got me sitting there going, You dodge, you dodge, you dodge, you dodge, you dodge, you dodge. Everybody dodge. Everybody dodged. Now everybody crit. Everybody crit. Now everybody <laughs> Meanwhile, oh, pack of opportunity, Psych Rifle. Oh no, someone went down. Uh, just gonna reduce my Psychic Class for the rest of this fight by one. Get back up. Yeah, I have a rest spell now. I was wondering if every if you put does every bullet has its own crit charge? Yeah. But you also crit. So one of your things is that you automatically crit, but do half crit damage. So you do a stream of basically do a stream with twenty ones. They're doing ten. Mhm. Mm you need a, you need a, you need, you need like a more, you need an ability. Like, hey, like, you, crit damage increase, uh, 300%. Pretty much right, where haven't we been? At this creature. That's for Cassandra stuff. So we'll head that way. <laughs> ah, the... Yes, again. Bug off, but no time. I need plastic provisions right now. Really. Ah. Uh. I can reduce it by one, so I'm going to reduce it by one. Uh oh. Well. We got a warp breach! Time to go on some fun. But do you please report from the dungeon to deck XYZ59. We have some mutiny here and possible demon version. Meanwhile, Matsurati. Oh, thank you. Right, level up your vein. You're like, why do I keep calling you vein? It's not your vein. That's a different character. <laughs> uh, don't stop shooting. No, that's it. She hits all right. It's all her bonuses. Um, 
Um, combat insight. Unfortunately, her perception bonus is not that high. Informed it? Uh, uh, we'll get tired of excellence. Right. Grenades! Stop oh, checks. Check. 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 Double check. Alright. We have cold. We have cultists on our ship. Yeah, I still. Pascal here. DD can go deal with the ones in this room. Sammy, give her a hand just so she's not there all day. Me go there. I'll go there. Yeah, let go here actually. First area of reliance. Second area. Uh, back line for bonuses. Should be able to see that far. Yep. Right now. Wrong shot, Bulba. Everyone else. Screw you with that. Ah, uh, you have one point left. You bonus boosts. Out of my way! Watching the Austin, I don't know what's going on right now. I thought he was watching Western. Oh no! Threw a grenade. Um. Please. If I Please. must. Precise. Cover. <laughs> Target. Hot <laughs> shot. Oh! Syndrome right there. What do you want help with, honey? Well, here is back in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Native American girl was. Ah. Are they done? <laughs> the mask is now, I think. Nah, no, I think the two swords will do nicely. Follow my lead. I'll look up by charge. Rejoice in service. Fight me. And so shall it be done. And defense stance. Hmm. Hello, sir. Ruin beckons. I will triumph. One step close. A blood soaked tribute. <laughs> So the seeds of discord 
Fear the crazy lady with very big sword. Ruin beckons. Purpose guides me. Such is the will of chaos. Damages. Death to the non-believers. You're not helping. And see what happens. Gas. Bro, it's not gonna make a difference. Oh, aware of that, right? Schemes within schemes. A predictable downfall. A wicked thought. What if? Now, this is going to get all shot to death. Do, 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 do. Current number of shots. I right. Already Cautious done. approach. Devastating. Wildfire. Problem for me. Rapid fire. Yeah. Only about the enemy. And think happy thoughts. Oh, too easy. Well, bad, 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 14 shots before he actually uh, killed them both. So that's what. Two would bring to 80. Eighteen shots is bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, however. What that? Suits my purposes. Oh! <laughs> Another clean strike! Poke again! There's nowhere to hide! And more poke. Do damage all day long. Standard shots. Nothing I can't do. Ah, another clean strike. The trick from Urkel. Yes, the uh, A suits my purpose. A repeated hit will hold them out. Nowhere to hide. Already done. Watch and learn. Suits my purposes. Do 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 do. Oh. Na 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 Oh. <laughs> Another clean strike. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Opposing me was your biggest mistake. Right, where's the last? There's one guy down there. I don't think you're in range to shoot anyone else, so. Oh, so better crippled in body. I serve the ruin of towers. But most of your friends are dead, and your smartest ideas are progress. This mortal flesh means nothing. Right, go check those other idiots up here. No, it looks like those are the only two idiots. An unworthy soul. Just designate a target. I 
deal death with my hands. <laughs> Through pain and hardship, we prove our devotion. Let my enemies tremble at the sound of my steps. Choo choo! Actions will speak louder than another step towards our ultimate victory. Did you deal so much damage? It's hilarious. Right, we'll just move out and got a loot feature. In this tapestry of a world, I am the rogue thread. So most of them had crappy shotguns. Scrap chainmail. Gas mail. Well, um, always had those over. Yes. Yes, you can, honey. There you go. Look what are you grabbing? Sorry. I will keep the grenades though. Because we always need more grenades. And though gas grenades are like the ones I feel like, there are situations where they're still good. Oh, we now arrived there. At least I believe I'm over here for something. Might be being dumb. Nah, I'm being dumb. Right, let's see if we've got any more quest points anywhere. Otherwise, it is now to go see the bloody Inquisition. We also have that one fight that's down there that I'm curious to go try now that we're more powerful. Wrong button. Yeah, I think we're going to go head down and see if that fight that was like... Yeah, no. It might be hilarious. Like, if we could take out the Dreadnought, I... Just a bit. Not expecting, though. Right. What well, if I do that one? I lose a bit of cargo, but I don't fuck myself. Okay, fastest way down there. Where's that from? There. I know I made a. I was gonna say I know I made like a path to bypass off the area. To long range for travel. Okay, Falstone has an event going on that requires me to go there. Roger that. Well, that's a point. Uh, right. Okay, so frozen. in basically this way. By the way, in going there. Yeah, I can go up and around. <laughs> right, I believe this was the place that has the uh, Ice World of Doom. <laughs> that basically has Storm Berserkers on it. Very, very dangerous Storm Berserkers. Why are we going? Yes. <laughs> you may actually be able to do something.
But I think the only problem is the and that dreadnought. But we'll see. Press any key to continue. Right. F5 with the auto save key. We'll see. Oh, yes, indeed. They all will see. I align my path with yours. For Me now, there. I have a different Me perspective. There. Heresy grows from idleness. We shall prevail. God, let's go. No suffering will make me forget yes, his sacred words. Burn the heretic. Kill the mutant. Nice. Purge the unseen. Like this uh, it galaxy. It? it is my oh, glorious spectacle <laughs> of your demise. Take you down. Right. Scout guard are gonna go first. Right. The head of shell brute. Thousand. Demon engine. Okay, you want to hit it? Oh, a lot of damage. Scout there, uh, guard there. Chaos Marine there is going to get to act in the ferocious hell brute, so we'll just have to go by bounds how we do this. Um, I'll we'll have Sammy there. You're let. No, you're it. And me in full cover. Bonuses where possible. The scriptural prognosis is favorable. Right, I most definitely want to <laughs> save that for when it moves closer. Uh, can't reduce recoil right now. Trench stratagem approved. That won't help. Down there, right? Okay, size intimidate. Fire, nice hit, nice hit. Uh, you have one point left. Uh, Cautious approach. Wildfire. 
Hail bullets. Already done. Concentrate fire. Suits my purposes. Nice. Uh, oh Jesus oh, He's got 10 seconds of burning, that's good Right, I have a dash But I do need to use it right now Uh, grenade wise I'll probably do quite a Fair chunk. All yeah, free grind. Good got dodged. Got kicked. Stands. Okay, so we're using jaw. We're good. Thank the shots. Thank the shots. Hits covers, no, hits covers her Sammy both times. Hey, Mr. Popo! Guess who's back? Back again. Guess who's back? Oh, God, I'll run from the Popo. That's Mr. Popo. <laughs> Cover. Precise. Cold the blood. True shot. <laughs> Missed. Damn it. Right. Okay. Step one. one step closer. I will triumph. <laughs> Purpose guides me. <laughs> I will triumph. Uh, right. Then you want to One stealth. step closer. Probably in George, just in case. And put a mark on him. Guidance. There's the other chaos. So, but I believe there's another two. Here we go. Yeah, the funny part is these guys should be. Guessing to build his stacks. Let's make it quick. Out Let's of my get way. Shot. Let's Extra shot. See. Excellent. Um, dispatch. This is the one that reduces. No, I want this one. <laughs> A maelstrom of madness. Out. Always hurts. By the way, how you adjust the place? Everything good? Okay, so currently is reduced by 30. Like, no fucking agility whatsoever, which is useful. What's his armor at? Armor at 49%. Minus 30 from that, so we've got 9 deflection. Your know, armor's really badly reduced. Good. For the dark gods. 
Now. They say. Really. It's, uh, yeah. Up and home away again. Yay. I'm gonna go here I to see if you can reach this one. The Emperor commands. Rejoice in service. Rock free. Follow my lead. One attack. <gasps> Damn. Okay. You can to use that now. Jen, I don't want to move you forward because there's no heavy cover over there. Uh. Okay, most certainly. My vow is to serve. This. That. Pop push me. Hey, 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 stay me. Pop was pen. No, that's not bad damage. Completely missed though. Uh, probably use this on the there. Knows all, comprehends all. <laughs> right, God. Impact. <laughs> probably use this, because I, I don't think he'd be affected by that effect. Not a problem for me. God, far. Rap, far. And again, we're feeling. <laughs> Another clean strike. We're good. Still good. Ow. Oi, oi, oi. What should I do? I'm a pirate arc. Uh, place the Sims. Delicious thrones on Sammy is it all? Sammy has been wrecked as usual. He's cute. And adorable. No, 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 if it serves your cause. <sighs> if I must. Uh, that saves me two points, yeah? Yeah. So... Point. Not your Xenos pet. In favours the swift. Right. And Sammy. Through chaos I stride. I want to have um, help deal with this guy. That's my dream. Purpose guides me. You can have your drink, honey. There you go. I reject the very idea. Start doing damage, this asshole. One step closer. I know, it's so funny Purpose about being a carved me. Bar, a corn marine. <laughs> I will triumph. Mark. And just in case we do get hit. Hurry! <laughs> oh! I shall 
There you go, kick. Shake it up. still under my field but yeah for one guard mm, wicked thought. that's all right A wicked thought. The helper is going down. With purpose. Uh oh. Here comes that chaos ring. Who turned out the lights here? You know, you know Didi's back. Didi's now just I'm gonna sure go charge and show back in. Take take a look at your Discord. Okay, was it? Probably about to threaten something. Where am I looking? Oh no, he sent it to me. Damn it. What? No, Popo didn't see me. That sounds like right. <laughs> well, that first smile on my face. I love to see. I love to see a reaction. I really funded it. What, what no, 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 you only find out if it gets funded. Well, no, 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 <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Popo, do it. Popo. Popo is most amusing. What was that? Just hurt yourself. How you think, Bobby? Oh. No idea how that'll probably sound. <laughs> yeah, try not to blow up people's ears. Oh! That has been punched me. He's <laughs> down! No! no. <laughs> yes! <laughs> no! On it. I'm sure Sammy very much, very much is going to appreciate that. <laughs> right. <sighs> Suits oh. my purposes. Oh. Nothing I can't do. That oh. one. I don't have time for this. Suits Focus on him. Hide. All too easy. <laughs> Another clean strike. Oh, 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 oh no, she, she's absolutely shocked, terrified about what's going to happen to her. Alright, Dave. Alright. You're amazing, Pepe. Very much love for you. Thank you. Oh no, my cover! Ow, 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 ow! Ow! 
you cannot change this path. Hey, look, free attack asshole. Schemes with it. Ah, another I'm one. You lose your turn. Yeah. Also, uh, A get back up. Wicked thought. Well, I did take my. I hurt yourself. I feel better. I can understand. Can you see him? You can. Okay. If it serves your cause. Fall, creatures! No weakness is hidden from my sight. Buff, 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 buff. Shoot. I am not your Xenos pet. Fortune favors the swift. Okay, Sam. Purpose guides me. Them hard. I will delight my masters with your demise. In a fact. A blood soaked tribute. One step closer. Off. And this bit. I need Not much no actually can do, unfortunately. And then all these guys start. And they're like. Have fun. <laughs> Mr. Popo is like, have fun. What if. <laughs> I'm pretty sure much fun will be had. A genius at work. I embrace this. Shut the rose in my wake. Fun is. Love you. Even I won't do that. Why do I not love you? Schemes within schemes. My reckoning will be swift. Oh dear. Perils of the warp. You stop casting. Oh. Things going a bit squiddy. Alright, now we make slow progress the towards the enemy. And so shall it be done. Come and get us. I will not be deterred. And so shall it be done. I get cover. Emergency healing. Additional emergency healing. And then just, uh. I mean, everyone's out of range. So, um. And just for now. Mr. Guard. Oh, Nothing right I can't do. Suits far, far. Never stay in the case they live. All too easy. Start shooting. Nothing I can't do. Next. Next thing on the list, you kill it. Yeah. Right, um, re reload. Problem for me. Shoot more. Your biggest mistake. Shoot even more. Uh, stuff in range. No, they're not. We got the extra shot for later. Because now we're just pretty much killing mooks. If I hope there's actually some 
Okay, not all this. Ruin beckons. Let's get to it. Let's get, get to it. Stop firing peanut shells at me. Where's that fun hammer? And so you ain't living. Shall it be done? Your corrupt way has failed. Hire your butter vessels for the higher purpose. My enemies shall be crushed like dust. GD on a rampage. That. So. Oh, Mr. Gun. Where's the shots? All you need to do is just rain a few bullets in the direction it should die. There we go. One dead. One step at a time. Oh, good. The madness. Couple of crap last guns and stuff. Oh, there's a bunch of trade arms about. Cultists will have crap on them. Cultists. Great body gloves and guns. There will be no peace in my wake. What's in here? Tearing vendor. One handed uh, power axe. <laughs> this power axe does a 1.5 times bullet strength plus toughness bonus damage. The first attack of each round against the bleeding target increases. Ooh, blow us off six damage every time. Ooh, that a good axe. And the boots. Those are cool boots as well. All my boots at the moment. Those might actually be better. Nope. I tell you what, DD's taking their power axe. Because it's 25 to 40 versus 21 to 31. So, yeah. It is better. DD shall now with the Terry Vengeance. Curiosity sings in my bed. Look, they'll never jump. Eh, don't want that. Modified cat grenade, yeah, sure. Open the goods. Operation successful. Officers make it. Grenades. Couple of grenades. Looks like that's everything that was here. Oh, that was fun. In the 
Tapestry of a world. I am the rogue thread. <sighs> right. Now we head to the uh, world we actually need to go to. And we need to go to one of our plants, I believe. Because there's an event going on there. Bad juju again. Right, so... Where was it? Bad juju? Foulstone. Foulstone is... There. Which easiest way is back this way, up around through there, to here, to there, to... Yeah, like that. Uh, I trust the navigator's judgment. Emergency aboard the board ship. Give them gifts. I'm being lazy at this point. But that didn't give me two full points, so I can go and uh, make it a little safer this way. And make it a little safe this way. Doesn't make it perfect, but. Uh, comment to turn since incident. Witness your claim. You left the sanctum of on the Lady Navigator's orders. Affirmative. Tune act in accordance with maintenance protocol. Step one, cease to seek mechanisms for duration of 15 crow returns. Step two, fail to form the bridge, but the imminent jump. And I want to know why. Data unavailable. The lane navigator ordered that she be connected to the void ship, but she did not order preparations for the machine spirits for transition. Laws, a ritual that cannot be identified by the unit's capabilities. This unit received the command to insert protocol and exit Sentinel Navaris. Not turn since instant. No, please, not the fingers. I'm going to break one for every word of a lie I hear. Come for you after the talk. So, please, you have to believe me. All we did was prepare the caravans, mix the navigator's blood into paints. They were told to lock open the shutters so the Lord Captain could see everything that was going on inside the sanctum. Navis from the observation chamber and Rock Sunglass can't shield you from war powers. I, I swear on my soul, I've gone a friend. I swear they never got any wanted to paint a picture for the ritual or some such that I. That's all I know. She wasn't going to use the power in her eye. But I got as far away from there as I could. That's all I saw, I'm telling you. Oh, Jesus. We performed an emergency war jump, barely activate the Gallifrey on time, and are now being dragged into the thrones nowhere by an unknown force. They never get in the Lord Captain still, and I can't afford now. Tell me, one more time, what transpired in the Santa Novus? I escorted the Lord Captain to the observation chamber and yelled at the servants for leaving the shutters open, but then I was told it was on the road trader's orders. We could see the lady navigator clearly through the arm glass. She was lost in thought. Staring at the camera's front, she looked like she was completely unaware of the world around her. Soon the servants were ordered to leave the sanctum. They never picked up the brush. In tranche, she started dragging it across the canvas, painting one image off the other. And then the Lord Captain noticed it. There was a thing on the other side. The picture covered in a layer of flesh and bubbles coming to life. But the lady navigator was oblivious. That's when the Lord Captain... Uh, I would say I called out to her. Startled by the Lord Captain's cry, the navigator answered. Then, when I realized the arm glass between us and the rest was gone, and the thing in the painting, they broke free. What happened next? I barely remember a thing. There was a bright flash, a purple flare, and I remember feeling scared that my knees were shaking. I remember my legs carrying me away like they had a mind of their own. As I ran, I heard screams behind me. The Lord Captain laid across. Oh, God, Emperor, the creatures, they pulled them both inside the painting. Sir? It wasn't Mistress Foxmaster. I have a report that needs to be delivered to senior officers. Lord Captain Lenny goes, they will destroy in the emergency warp jump. Their whereabouts still unknown. I'm sending you the interrogation report. End of reporting. Uh, so as Richard did not go as planned, 
Brought the search trigger the lady navigation trance, washed over sent to Navas. The ship's machine spirit reacted to a surge. Number two and interrupted it as its call to action, thus did the emergency jump into unknown begin. Amidst the trigger signs, the hang of the shutters and the distant hum of the warp engine, some unknown will pull the Lord Captain to the sanctum of Navas towards the creature that was living canvas that had already gripped the lady navigator's throat. Half eyed almost out of breath and strong screen, Cassia stretched out her hand and began so sinking into her own pain. Weapon skill 10, which is 100 or toughness. Uh, we'll go with weapon skill 10. Successful. The ritual dagger of Hazarella carved the billowing shadow and yet the painted hand reformed itself. The moment off the blade passed through it, Cassius went limp in the clutch of the horrific creation and was immediately pulled to the side of pain. A moment later, Dob Sona still clutched the dagger was likewise plunged into its depths. Dob Sona finds himself in the middle of a gigantic boundless billowing nothingness. His body weight his body felt weightless, filling the void strewn with a hundred loading of gates colours, some of the bright warms and alluring old moose cold and heavy. Closed his eyes and remained drifting away. So swam towards the dark colours, bright colours. Dobson plunged into a river of bright hues and flashes rose sunset lilac carried him down the dazzling stream. Before long, Lord Captain was standing in an idyllic garden, irritated with the fragrance of flowers and singing of birds, servants in purple livery. Darted back and forth, attending to a withered old woman in a navigator's mask, sitting on her lap, a smiling copy that everyone was a little girl with ruby eyes and white hair. Be a good little girl, my child, until the day we meet again. Trembling hands, the woman held the girl to a navigator in laboratory attire. I am out of time. Prepare the child for the Atlas transfer and destroy all records and mention of the world of Itavai. None must learn of which took place here. And remember, her body must grow strong for it to set my power. And once I have returned, loyalty will be rewarded. The memories dispatched and a gust of silvery wind hurled the Lord Captain back into the ocean of nothingness. But this time, nothing felt this. No, instead of bright hues, all that contained the shadow was invisible, monsters swim by shrouded by nebula, veil of unfathomless. Oh no, dark colours. Greyish blues where Eves swallowed the Lord Captain, and the feeling of lightness disappeared from his body grew heavy again. Top center fell hard on the floor of the laboratory, clapped with bats as tall as a human. Inside them were dozens, hundreds, not even of repulsive mutants. Some had no arms, no legs, or two heads or faces. And the inn was turned inside out, but each had white skin, white hair, long clothed limbs, and ruby eyes. My lady, the child, the child is born. The tall woman slowly approached one of the readings. Stable, mutations, none were detected at any stage. Genes, identical, my lady. Chance of survival, a hundred times higher than any previous experiment. How long would it take to grow this child? The extent of the process may cause the body to frail. Uh, the only one after years of science, I understand the situation, natural growth. I do not have much time. We'll have to go with the backup plan. Yes, Novator, it will be done. Then made this space with a gust of silvery wind, hurled the cats back into the ocean nothingness, but this time, nothing's fail the smell. Instead of bright hues, all that contained was shadow and visible monsters swimming shrouded by a nebulous of un oh, let's close his eyes and remain in Darkness stayed in the ocean nothingness, devoid of any sensation or motion, until a smile, a slight smile upon someone's its surface in his mind, the warmth of the skin. The silk of her white hair cast it. She was there, somewhere amid the seething nothingness all alone. Someone on the screen broke the equilibrium of the Lord Captain's motionless body, and weightless released him. He plummeted into the maroon abyss of rolling illusions, but was now in full control of his body again, and Dr. Sona descended into the abyss towards the screams. The Lord Captain crashed with an immeasurable height at the bottom of a rolling abyss. In that moment, Dr. Sona tore two figures amidst the billowing maroon mist. One figure, unnaturally gaunt and tall, was catching the other, smaller one in its claws, screaming furiously. Ooh. Awareness. Fail. You can hear whispers and moans coming from the depths, but I can't quite tell. Approach. One step was all it took. So I'm known for a little captain sees him and drag him through the painting street to space. And I can clearly see the dark shade of all the navigators leaning over Cassius, clutching her neck Lord Fingers and the shade scream. You who were given life to me, you survived because of me, and now you are here because I have willed it. Bow to me, tell me what I wish to hear. Your suffering and gone, child. I have long so waited for it. Submit to me. Cassius looks exhausted, her body covered in a hundred thin cuts, her lips lacerated claw marks on her cheek. Yet there's a steadfast resolve in her eyes. I know who you are. Tasephne Ocelios. 
I know what you crave. I saw it in my visions. You sent me again and again. I won't allow it. I will never allow you to become me. Cassie's fatigued voice quiver, but she was not yet about to yield in this battle. I could persuade her to... Uh, can I save in this instance? No. Okay. So I can persuade her to... Fight with the friend. Or stab her with the... Stab her with the dagger. The silver blade whistled through the air and it's definitely led her to... Horrible house, a skeletal figure from over shattered by mist. And with that, all over at last. When the lady's now guy's eyes opened, the space around her changed. Bright colours drove the mist away and made its light somewhere very high above. Reminded the road trade of the world he had left on the other side of the canvas. You know what? That's probably because we managed to grab the dagger. Instead of using straight to try and pull it out, we're like, nope, dagger. The lady navigator graced the Lord Captain with a surprised smile. The abortive ritual had turned out to be a trap set for Lady Cassis by the previous novetto of her house, but the road trader had ensured that her plan fell to ruin, and now it was time to descend to that accursed place. Cassius took the road trader's hand and guided him through the maroon mists and out of the painting. Their conscious bodies were discovered in the Sanctum Novus twenty Terran days after their disappearance as soon as the road trader's voice ship had emerged from the warp in an unknown system. Oh, chart new routes first. And, uh, visit the unknown system. <laughs> After we just went to the painting world, apparently. Alright. Oh, Jesus Christ, purple sun. That's never a good thing. Scan here. Nothing of note. And scan here. Palace of the Atlas. Now we have to take Cassie. This one, because this is her main quest. It's a chrome world? Oh, Shizer. I do not like the idea of that. Because generally speaking, these are the original worlds of the Eldar, like their home worlds or main system worlds, and they're generally like completely hunted by demons. All right. Time to just quickly grab everything it recommends. Uh, I mostly get to use a psychic power, so. Mind reality. Scouts are tired. Hmm. So the fear actually sounds more cool. That's true of time. Uh honestly toughness. And commerce. Agility. No. What's off? I said she just take this damage has more health. Oh. 
Uh, could I have a top up? I don't think so. No, thank you. Oh. Alright, exemplar. Um. Yeah, combat meditation. Uh, then. Probably. More stuff like that. Okay. Persuasion. There you go. Alright, definitely want to go willpower. Strange vitality. Bit of light. Waking nightmare. Because I haven't leveled her up for a while. I've actually got a lot to do. <laughs> well, th this is her actual mission, so. Is that one? No. Unbreakable wheel. And willpower. Alright, let's see if I can stick something on her. Do I have any more stars? So we don't want her using melee weapon armor, so just gonna quit that for now. Armor! No! I guess just the armor body glove for now. There you go, honey. You're welcome. Uh, I want type. Do I not have anything that's specifically for navigators? So I have to stay on then. Ah, uh, I worry too much about optimizing unless I need to. Probably carry her to be fair. Right.
That's the question of what is around. Saving is hard. Okay, so we can go mobile pass, so one of the ways first. At a time amidst the madness. What's this? Very noticeable imprint of a long clawed hand of broken project screen. They will see. Oh yes, they all will see. Close Hunter is burmished by human presence in the pursuit of ancient secrets. The navigators had no qualms in the rows of machinery and supplies. But calm down. I have proven myself yet again. My success is an irrefutable certainty. Wish this. Plus 15% the skill. Blue gloves. No, what about me? Look at that, plus 10 and 25% critical damage. Wait, that's a car, that's a car agreement? Oh, the car exhaust. Okay, never mind. The duty prevails. Okay, check this way. Curiosity sings in my veins. <sighs> Incredible. Your heart, esteemed Magos, shines with a kaleidoscope of colors, albeit one made of metal. Only lay persons believe feelings to be the preserve of flawed flesh. We know the higher passions granted by the Omnissiah, the aversion to tech corruption, the blessing of compliance with the canon of maintenance, and the satisfaction of effective devotional service. Hmm, what lies beyond there? A few things. I want to make sure I'm getting everything. Journal of paperwork. Not enough by its power. Let's spend a three from such a can without a shred of reason. Empty shells. Oh Jesus! In this tapestry of the I guess world, you should sacrifice one kind of navigators in order to make the other. Thread. Genius triumphs. Can we get that? Step at a time. I tire of idleness. Let's move. Done. Kaboom! Yeah, that's a digi ring. Plasma ring. It's quite nice if you want to go digi weapons. And a bat. Where it is, bat. Where are and the allies are immune to damage from all the worst games. The first time they throw one. Then the turn they fist a chance not to expend the grenade. He seems a pervert. So, perfectly normal, reasonable person, yeah? This is the daughter, she was not friends with a teenager. Is she a young adult or an adult? Oh. Okay, yeah, that, that's. Young adult, I was like, there oh, okay. will be no peace <laughs> in my wake. Yeah, because if it's young adult, there's like the president, so it's like an 18 year old flirting with like a 21 to 25 year old. Oh, I don't even know what to find it. Hello. Hold the card. I've had to ally ourselves with Xenos once more to stop you. No matter, it's a small price to pay for the Liberation House to sell us from the chains of tyranny. Oh, I had the fight. Follow the smell of the card. I know what you mean. Be gone, renegades! Before the Atlas is fall on your weight, Charles, stand with us. Our sis will not trade Stephanie's legacy for the false idols of blind fools. Really 
There's me that I just did. What have you done? What what is happening? Ah She about to be possessed. Many people go pop. Harlequin is so high. Says for the cage for pretended. Damn, Zenos. Got a bargain with Shock. Try and smite you. Oh, his skin is. Hey, all night. And the navigator's his skin is so thin. That it reveals the muscles, bones, and innards underneath. Clench his augmented golden jaw in contempt. What is this, rogue trader? And the traitor to the house have lured the child into a trap set by Xenos. I wish my eyes were seen me, but now I can see clearly. The great region attorney was right to have sent us after your vessel. Sadly built woman is armed with a pistol, and yet signs of exhaustion in her posture. Her face is. Hidden behind a gem cross three eyed mask and elaborate Nevers vestment stained with dry blood. Another evidence of recent combat. Which would like what's happening here. You will stop to find the remains of the hallowed ground of our ancestors with your semblance of speech, Monkai. I can spike close faintly. The fun act soon unfold, but you will pay for your deeds of your ancestors. Stay put and wait for the puppeteer to pull your strings. Why? Why are these Xenos ruins where the past facts should be? Why is this place coated in an impeccable black mist? I am suffocating. Three eyed monkey who see into Chauvel. The tale of your ancestors has begun to consume your body and soul. Let it fall. With an observable loss of power that is not yours, ending your misery will be merciful. Taint, you mean the Atlas Xenos traitor? <coughs> Science traitor, the Atlas, the sacred relic of House Silius. It is what elevates us above the rest. How dare you? I refuse to accept this. Impossible. What taint do you speak of? Do you not see it? Me and Monkey discovered this chrome world. You tainted it with your crew technology, spoiled it of its relics, ruined all that was the last stone. But worst of all, you spoiled the souls of our ancestors for posting their sacred vessel and spirit monolith. Okay. Like a seer bottomless blue. I, I did. No, oh, no, the living thing because it exudes such saturated hues. I wish I could paint this ocean a different color. So I'm in the hovering crystal. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. They taint it. The experiments. This is where she conducted her experiments, the Cephalon. No, it's not possible. So what Xenos is to violate the word of the God Emperor. It's known to all that house Cephalos says execute anyone who showed interest in enemies to humanity. Is that so? Is that why that every piece of metal fabric in this place bears her house coat of arms? Open your eyes. Quiet! Why is that the truth is sitting from your gaze, the red monkey? Who sees in Shelley? I realized it the moment I met the first of you, wretched, begging us to help you destroy your own kin. I sensed it within you. Our ancestors call. Their pleas. Their endless torment. I knew that what you had found was a grown world, and I humbly waited for the day you would lead me to it. What does this all mean exactly? It means, Monkey, that your companions have just sought to command the power of the spirit monolith, and yet suffer failure time and again. Eventually, they discovered a way to harness the power, tear away. Torture is unforgivable. They shattered the monolith into many shards and weakened the souls within, and then they placed the shards inside their bodies to empower their abilities. I should have learned such harsh truth about my own house. Can we not fix this? You only say that because you wish to soothe me. You, you are more than just a tyrant's heir. You are a successor to a mad heretic, a betrayer of faith. You must be destroyed you and the Atlas once and for all. You think the solution is so easy, don't you, Monkey? When you die, your souls become captive inside the spirit monolith. This process is deranging to our ancestors. We have served as the monolith's guardians for aeons. It is equally antagonizing to the souls of your dead. And the more monkey souls, the more it souls, the more far it becomes. The Adara monkey has spent many a dancing battling for supremacy within the monolith, and its integrity is waning. You sense it too. The only way to free our ancestors from the pain is to separate monkey's taint from the spirit monolith. My troop is here to perform just that. We will pay our part today, and when the final act of the stage on tragedy begins, the monkey players will exit this world stage.
Is there no way to separate them freely? I do not believe there is. The real monkey has desecrated this place. I will not put the spirit my foot just to help with the compliments of a lamenting performance. Yeah, the old kind. <laughs> yeah, the same guy. Maybe she's not dying. Cassius is an inheritor, the one who bound the spirit on to navigate his bodies. Listen to whatever she has to say, she is not the woman her predecessor was. <laughs> I cannot change the past, it is true. Nor can I change the fact that my house is forever tainted by the disgrace born of her hubris, yet. All of us here today have the power to change the future and halt the unending suffering that is branded both your kin and mine. You, you suggest a monkey and our diary change the future together? I must admit, my leading lady, I'm confounded by your audacity. Go on. My atlas. Be the phantoms of my house. Yeah. From the spirit of my them to enter my atlas. The experience and wisdom will steer her service on the path of truth and allow future generations to avoid calamitous pitfalls of their forebearers. Kemorag, my leading lady. Shreds of the monolith are lodged inside the chest of a monkey bound to you by ties of blood. How is that if you intend to return them? I shall use the atlas to serve my subject's connection to the spirit monolith, then I shall extract its shards from every house navigator. The artifact implanted at birth, but that does not mean that the ritual cannot be reversed. I witnessed its creation through my very eyes. I lived it over and over through the memories of the Shetlef clan. I can recreate the ritual that will return the soldier akin to you and save my people's lives. I am willing to try, monkey. No! I won't let you destroy the atlas, even if it's Charles Wish. They just says you are too young, experts. I simply cannot comprehend. You address the case of House Ocelio, one who survived the massacre of Europe 5, the one who follows an attempt on her life at the Palace of Darkness, one who has restored her house's stability in what scant time she has been free, while you, all of you, have spent years destroying it from within. You address one who has passed through the Tempest dear souls the true atlas as a rogue trader ally yet still you call me unworthy don't you young inexperienced near before me and i shall forgive you for your insolence first your test succeeded our service will always loyal to navigate a phone henceforth it will be loyal to her successor even if you see fit to lead us down a different path my lady bitch eat it are you done with your points monkey and stand aside and do not interrupt I can feel it again, the tranquility. The ancestral shores have found peace. Corruption no longer endangers the monolith of this world. Remember our agreement, sir. We will soon meet in this place again so that you can give us the shards. And now be gone from our world, monkey. Okay. any other loot I, I wish loot oh jesus mars pattern lasca a lot of flak armor a lot of bolters too um i don't think i need those what is that applaud my it says brilliance. leave but i ain't leaving until i loot everything New staff. There, done. Curiosity. I will leave as soon as I have to do this place. Anything I can grab, I'm grabbing. Never know what relevance it may have later. Failure is a bitter taste. Yeah, unfortunately not perfect. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, is that just the bodyguards they're standing on? Okay, I don't have to worry about that.
Well, that went, how did you say? Interesting. I want to say that's heavy. Blood ties. So I need to talk to Albert. Albert? Idra. Jane. Cassius. Yeah, pretty much all we've done. Uh, that's the voice it mentioned. Let's go to the bridge. So I need, basically, I should go around and talk to all the characters at this point, just see what they have to say. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I've probably got conversations to be had. on my ship I wish to talk to people okay there we go right okay. mandatory pet stroke let's go talk to you first Arden. greetings No, nothing for you. Cassius. Oh, how nice of you to grace me with your presence. I was just thinking back to our journey to the Palace of the Atlas. That is, to the world of Xenos. <laughs> Remembering that most reckless act has enveloped my mind in a whole palette of hues. But when I think of the great risk you took for House Orcelios and my own sake, an azure shawl instantly descends on my shoulders, and amber sparks flash inside my soul. Please accept my sincerest gratitude. So now you're full first novator. You of all people should know that succession is a lengthy and tiresome process. While my entire house is busy preparing for a grand council at which I am to ceremonially inherit the late Tisiphone's title, I have decided to remain by your side, to relish just a little more of this carefree liberty. For as soon as I am summoned to do my duty, we must say our farewells. Hmm. Well, wait your house. The Xenos have managed to free the souls of our ancestors from their confinement. The memory and wisdom of those that came before us will serve our house, helping build upon the ruins of the present, a firm foundation for generations to come. I believe in that, as I believe in the divine light of the Emperor. You know what? Uh, I feel like this is quite a good outcome for how it worked. I suppose so, if by power you need <coughs> priceless knowledge. As for the special powers granted by the Xenos souls, the navigators of House Orcelio will once again have to contend with their own bodily and spiritual limitations. However, I am undaunted by the prospect, for our line and our gene have never been weak. House Orcelio will succeed, and soon we will rise again, draped in white and gold. Of course, I will try to answer any questions you have. 
I have enjoyed your company. Thank you for the conversation. All right, so that's that for now with her. See if Maserati has anything to say. Rogue trader. Are you careful with the walk, Watson? You dare to ask me that question? Every time this barge pierces the veil, I am left alone with all the nightmares of she who thirsts. It costs me all my fortitude and strength to fight them off, and there is never anyone at hand with whom I can indulge myself. Only cold walls and a sealed airlock. <laughs> Since the first time, I have been slowly acclimatizing to voyaging through the veil. Only Monkey could have conceived of such a suicidal method of galactic travel. However, it is novel and exhilarating. At least now I know what I'm facing, and consequently, I will find a way to withstand it. And now it is time to learn what is happening with the Cabal of the Reaving Tempest, leaderless and abandoned to the mercies of Kamora. Hmm. The survivors will probably be driven into real space to fall prey to Silent Thresh. You must find them. If we encounter the remnants of the Cabal in this dimension, I will want to speak to them. Then go. I will find something to amuse myself with. Okay, so I need to do his quest. Our bed. Lord Captain, allow me to express my gratitude once again for your assistance. If it weren't for your intervention, my entire family could have been executed on false charges. I could have lost them all. I never imagined the Vasarians would be so vulnerable while I serve as Seneschal to the Lord Captain himself, far from home. Mm. But such is my duty to the rogue trader, to keep tireless watch at the Lord Captain's side, to serve as a support in the darkest of times for you and for me. I will not step down from my role, no matter what happens. Do not doubt me. The Viserian family will learn from what has happened, and if our blood is worth anything, we'll be ready to face new trials without my guiding hand. Uh, do you wish to return to your family? I cannot guard my family as if they were little children. I once tried to protect you in the same way, and quickly discovered that you have your own head on your shoulders, and your own opinion on things, even if I do not always agree with them. No, my duty is to be at your side. To be your Seneschal. Well then, Lord Captain. It is time I return to my duties. Is there anything else I can do for you? I must take my leave. Lord Captain. Yeah. Henrik, you got anything to say? To I what do I owe this visit? Hello. What? Why? On this side. <laughs> because it has to be on that side. I don't play! Not can hand it to the Inquisition. <laughs> uh, draw it next. Did you see you? Her lips comes as well. She nods at something over your shoulder. All right. Let's hear what they're whispering about you. Hmm? <laughs> the clockwork heart of a forbidden relic beats out of rhythm, grating more with every throb. He who started on your path with you will make way for daybreak. In the foundry depths, a devastating blade is forged, one that you cannot hold. To unsheathe it is to call down doom and destruction. <sighs> I'm sorry, Lord Captain. The voices are going wild. I can't make out a thing. I'll try to rein them in somehow, but for now... How are you doing? Never been better, Lord Captain. No joke. 
As soon as I stopped fearing for my life, even the voices in my head quieted down. But don't get me wrong, they will come back. And one day I'll find myself in a situation I can't get out of. But for now, I'm fine. And it's all thanks to you. Hmm. You know, I think it's pretty ironic that my gift lets me see the future, when thinking about the future as the thing I'll do anything to avoid. Substances of all kinds, jokes, stories about their good old days. <laughs> I hide under them all like a blanket. As long as I don't poke my head out, everything will be okay. At least, that's what I thought. But I'm tired of living other people's stories. I want to tell my own. I don't know when or how mine will come to an end, but I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that somebody someday tells at least one decent story about Adira Tlas. And I can't think of a better way to do that than by standing shoulder to shoulder with you. No, oh, that what? Uh, on the one. Then what are we waiting for? Get a fun. in here. We need to get all this down before we forget. But we have to make me more heroic and powerful so that I come out looking the best next to your other companions. <laughs> what do you reckon? How many wastrels have we slaughtered? A million? Stuff that. Let's make it two. <laughs> of course. You gotta love how reckless she is. I think Jen wanted to talk. Sherin, oh glorious son of dozens of worlds and billions of subjects, have you come to converse with Jai Hedari about the sweetness of her soul? Or do you wish to speak to a trade representative of the Imperium? <laughs> well, does the guise of one of the most powerful people in the Expanse suit me? Hmm. Uh... You're beautiful, my It is hard to argue against words as wise as they are sweet, Sherin. Except sometimes guys is mailed with the skin of their unfortunate owners. And the only way to take them off is to tear skin from flesh. That is not something I want. Not anymore. More pizza. Okay, give me a sec. I want to refresh oh, myself. Yes, Sherin. And here is what I think. Since the day we first met, I have been tossed about like a boat in a storm. Battered, dashed against the rocks, lashed by the waves. And then I was flung onto the shore, and a fabulous gift washed up beside me. A precious pearl of the deep. The Mercatum Tabula Officiale. And it was not fate or the glitter of golden bubbles that steered me on that voyage. Oh no. I realize the power of those who hide in the blinding light of luminaries such as yourself, Sherin. The power that lies in being a shadow that upholds order and light by skirting around antiquated laws. I will become that shadow, Sherin. Perhaps I will even be your shadow. Not another pawn of the Kasbalika mission, but a shadow baron of the Expanse in my own right. A power far more imperious and formidable than any penny pinching steward. Shadowban never hurt. Why is it? I? <laughs> then it is decided. Starting today, I will sail toward the future I choose. What a thrill it would be to ride the waves wherever they want to take me. Lights up, indicating an incoming message. Keep your flight nod, looks away, focus on the message. After being transmitted to Combid. Right, her expression of the cuts to a nervous gesture. What was that about? Uh, nothing important, really. Just a small commercial matter. Make you so nervous. <sighs> Fine. Maybe it's better to let you know. Mercy in the mission circle on Sunny Quad I won't lie, and so it's completely safe, but perhaps you don't mind coming with me. It's a mission circle. High ranking agents uh, mission. They already know I took Falco's life and they want to hear that I want to take over his trade. But for that, I need their approval. You also come. Thanks, that means a lot. Won't keep you away from important matters. I 
And then suddenly, crash for four. <laughs> Alright, please let me pause when you load in because I need to get Sammy pizza. I like go to toilet while I'm at it. All that lot. Tense faces turn towards you. Focus of people who are their nostril hard faced. Cold traders maintain a differential silence, which is broken only by the hiss of swelling. Rollouts being smoked while relish a dark haired critical looking man so just cooped. This is a big day, now we just got to trade. Right, I'm gonna go get some pizza and head a type. Be right back. Her falls upon them, their heads drop. Uh, Jay, with her chin raised, seems to be the only. The situation of this man's absolute superiority, but her strand expression makes it clear she is not unaffected by his presence either. Strong as dude, he takes a drag font. His Augusto, his fingers idly playing with a button on his jacket from time to time, smiling at it at his own thoughts. I'll just nod at Jay. Kite Fox to you all. Very traded up some of our classes come. The meeting to ensure that his interests will not be harmed. Greetings, Your Lordship. I am Mercy, the organization, organizer ugh, of this gathering of sun rising men and women. The jubilations that was endangered my soul at the news of your visit. As I was shown by the host of questions it raised. Hi. Right. Our interest in underlies such close proximity to ours that I have granted the honor of seeing you at a meeting of the mission's high circle. Questions arise and resolve, and the wise should not darken the hearts of them. The circle will hear Jemma on its base, Tasha Air Fritz Ifrit. Excuse me. I'm laying claim to Falco's business, his territory, his crew. He tried to take mine and he lost. So now I will take his. And I want the circle to endorse my claim. Is that so? And Circle Grisius, after all, Falco's sentence was not handed down by us, but by you alone. Does that mean that you now speak for us instead of us? A dangerous proposition. So I've got a 40 or a 50 here. Boop! Failed. He forged to pass up and add some money to come for the friendship. Hmm. We are not traders, not fighters. We are the language of deals over the language of battles, but that does not mean that we cannot intimidate an organization operates in the shadow. We are used to opposition from the powers that be. We keep our blaze sheaths, but give us the chance to show our shot the truly and surely regret it. Such knowledge is. Enough poison the mines. Uh. Commerce? Nope. I've got sloppy, but everyone's going to love us. Money cannot buy new heads to replace the ones full of bullets. That's a dangerous president. You're putting a bejewel grenade in our hands, Shireen. You're not gonna let them feast you, are you? The ease of which you read to my heart frightens me, Shireen. Uh oh. Pressure sounds close to the skin. Screams for their own. Uh, the cold traders freeze, giving the bows point at them for the tension. An old familiar expression appears to be expressed a look of ace for scope. Messi, do you remember what you always scolded me for? You were too quick to neither thought that you might deserve something, Shireen. That's what you said? Thank you for that lesson. This time I will not be humble. Falco's contact is mine. Falco's crew is mine. Speak up. Free the rest of you at ease. One shot. Bloody songs are born. The sound of weapons fire. You think you can force... Oh, it's a bird that flies just past Messi's ear. It makes him swallow the rest of his speech. There's a Jane, I remember the one who first joined my retinue. Breaking through the avalanche of the past was covering my grave. It was not easy, Shreen, but I have risen. Have you got a message? 
I'm not an idiot. I'm not going to argue a very trader and I loaded all her pistol. Logic test passed. Despite message strange, Cinefo is clear. Do you that this man is unaccustomed to enjoying such indignities and equally unaccustomed for forgiving those who have wronged him? You see, Jerry is a girl who needed your protection. Forget that girl. She's a different person. Damn it. Too much has transpired today. Often. Spog bastard vanished up by some horrified of you. I could kill him or I could wound him. It would be a mistake to let you live. That is true. Bonk. Thank you. Yes. And goodbye. I believe we can consider this meeting closed. Well, certainly the circle of proofs of Jay Haddon's claim. Our trade is concluded. The rest is a mission on my station. I undertake to ensure the interests of which I will not be harmed. Let's be honest, we let him live. He's good enough. Kill us. So do smart thing. Put large bullet in. I say large bullet. I don't know if this one does, but most ranger rifles are depicted as firing a monofilament needle filled with some nasty shit. Then again, you also have a name character one that requires a micro warp portal. So, you know. The diversity of these guns is terrifying. Well, I suppose I better speak to her about that one. To what do I owe this visit? Not you. I've got no drink left. Uh, you got like a mouthful? That's yours, isn't it? No, I just drunk most of mine. Right. Where is she? Well, they've moved slightly. <laughs> oh, Sherine. The burden of a trade representative of the Imperium is a hefty one, especially when said representative is dabbling in the cold trade on the side. Whew. It is exhilarating, as if everyone suddenly became allies and enemies at the same time. So how are you doing, oh, precious apple of my eye? Um. Okay. See you later. That's, that's everything then. Oh, I have no doubt you will. That is just Maseratis. Which we have to go to a certain place for, so let me work out where we're going then. Where are we going? Um, right. Bust then would be the next place to go do the event, which remember correctly I can go to there to Janus, which will allow me to get to Faustone, which is down here. Uh 
quest wise. Where's yours? Let's say, have I got new ones? No. Being hiccup in that mad. Hmm. Oh, I guess we'll go that way. All right. Uh, port travel. How many of my clothes fucked up? Like, seriously. Vents popping off everywhere. Alright, let's make this route a bit safer. <laughs> Approach the reef. I'd like to point out that's on the path. So I'm guessing. Not sure how we failed. Whatever. Um. Right, that's Fausto. Go to Fausto first. Uh oh. Purify the decks. Faith. Experience gained. Got rid of the beast. Kind of wish I passed that wall. I know for a fact when you do pass it. You get um uh more travel points to make places safer to go to. Alright, Fausto Then inconvenient witnesses. Oh god. The seven can witness a secret. Inquisitorial operation, that's a problem. My, plus one security if I hand them over. Quite didn't matter. No, I'll just hand them over. Greatly appreciate the loyalty to Don Throne. That's just an insta one stat, so. I see no problem in that. Uh, right. Let's go to football while we're down here. Let's see if we can open up some more quests, because we can go up and go to the other places as we go. Check all the traders, because I believe our money we have has gone up. We've got a few things we can trade, just not much. Alright, there is his blessing. Not that I actually upgrade my ship in any way, shape, or form. Like, I really do like feel like I like my ship very powerful. <laughs> right, um, Atrium. Get rid of you. Because it's funny. It's to the Inquisition. She is a sanctioned demon. She's allowed to live for now.
I love you too. What? You just called me? Called you a big baboon. Ooh, ah, ah. I love you too. Lord Fasta. I wish for duck. Yeah, I've got to work that out. I'll do Sunday to Sunday. I've got one more family's plan, so before, and then I'm rotating back to Ah. Right. Swatters, because mechanic is a call. Show sure, data slates. Trade in the face. <clears throat> right. What is it called holy? Mars pattern. Oh, they are. Where the hell did you get the thing of fucking solar cannon? We don't even have a piano. Um, Basil Mekins. I can't afford a piano, so that's a no. Ooh, holy film here. Yeah. Right. Patience! That's all I've got. I'm going to find a spot off that I'll rent right now. It's freaking. Amarius, do you want anything? I want a big fancy ass piano! Ain't happening. We've got to pay our rent. And Christmas is over, so I'm going to just like sell three. Not a lot. Um, that's it right now. Right, and the palace is this way. What lies beyond? We were invited, shut up. Okay. Quick say, because they just all drew their guns. Hello, what's this? I can't even afford her bills, but it's short to go piano. Just realized it changed my party, right? Right, buy a piano, which costs like a thousand or something, isn't it? I can't even afford our bills right now. Thousand. Eight hundred and eighty last time, while bills were like four hundred and forty or something. Wait till I get him to do like an odd job and her to go gather. You need to earn more money and like turn down the electricity you're using. One step at a time amidst the madness. Right. Mr. <clears throat> Tor? You called? Green, you little shit, your time is impeccable. An age servant with the bearing of a veteran approaches the two of you in a precise moment who replaces a touch cup. Or recap and put on the pill with a new one, steaming the, slightly steaming. May the Emperor grant you strength sometime to rest on Inquisitor. Oh.
Cruise upwards in the pitting grief Tony replies, I would be loath to trouble our master with a prayer for such indulgence, especially one so utterly inappropriate at this fraught time. Lane navigate Cassius Tosephus. A house says it's going through a difficult time. Change is coming. I sincerely hope it is for the better. Your colours, your liquids, are as rich as they are multifaceted. I've never encountered anything like it before on clouded hues flowing from one to the next. Amazing harmony, amazing and frightening. The manners of such a state in town that is taking an interest in the well being of a never so bright house is a great honour. What is the current situation in the expanse? Caught the final dawn are vying with each other to see who can cause us the greatest turmoil. We mobilized all the forces to repel attacks, which is why we are still alive. Combined with Mr. Brigades are hunting for Xenos, guarding convoys, and especially platoons. We're kind of crushing heretics rebellion. The situation is unstable, but I will not pretend that I was prepared for this crisis. However, we have not lost our footing yet. Uh, what has prompted them to ask so brazenly? Prison interrogations indicate that an incident occurred in the Dark City that Xenos caused a disjunction. A dimensional calamity that forced them to steep up their rays in real space as Audacity speaks to their desperation, which in turn translates into new trials for his servants. Whoops. Mr. Raven has brought forth a new era of suffering for Monkey. Alan Tuck, are you satisfied? <coughs> Whoops. I'm about to call it the final dawn. The warp is raging. The painful signs are always prominent. Charge and cries beget desperation. No futile ground for heresy. I believe the Archangel's servants think their time has come. Perhaps the day was marked in the profane scripture as a date to end existence. I'm not trouble myself with further attempts to make sense of their blasphemous doctrine. They're bent on destroying us. Ooh. Excuse me. Us all, and they must be destroyed. Uh, you mobilized all forces, but how's from confidence? Are you not standing before me? While your status remains unclear, I prefer not to recognize the resources of the Protectorate. Your people dealt with both on the cause agents and the Xeno raids, and that was enough for me. But now it's time to add your might to the talents to the scale. <laughs> I understand. I see no need to be bogged down with details. To praise you of information, I can't possess will require more time than we have. What help do you want? Lost it if you please. No field? The sound, I'm guessing. <laughs> to my charging the ability to be in two places at once does not number among my talents. That is why I wish for you to serve in my stead. I place such trust in a few people, you understand? You will feel what it is to walk in my shoes and attempt to compel a gag or cause some blockheads to work together. You will reconnoiter if it's two for me. Plus another recap, this one's bold. old. Cows are just enough. Oh, wow. <laughs> Can you tell me more about if it's two? For sake of world of debts and Mechanicus, often it's the lay people and the one a few who do not worship the Messiah. You have set foot on the surface, or rather I was, now that it is calling with unbelievers. Desperate well bearers attacked, captured it. Got of Undorn have brought entire hordes of heretics to the planet. Especially the security of party missions, the scourge of the corrupted misbelievers reign over blessed workshops, fills the Messiah's faith with anguish. Activate him auto schism protocols, I offer prayer for the liberation of the sacred world. I sent my troops to aid its border forces, laying siege to the world, but a rift occurred. I warned the commanders, they need an authoritarian general, and you are the perfect for the role. My cost is used up this place. <coughs> well, birds went there themselves. They didn't just send their puppets. Clearly, the stakes for them are high enough, but the on the crawl has. Stirred his profane self to make a personal appearance. Uh, Convers instantly is also there. I hear you two have unfinished business. Yes, we do. Him and I will generously leave to you. 
and you're finished with him, you may simply dispose of his mortal remains and need to surrender them to the Inquisition. For inquest, consider it my gift. What forces do we have in place and where's this rift? Exploratory fleet recalled its most combat ready units to retake the world. They were supported by the most powerful strike fleet and group of deadlier allies. I expect the pack of space will turn down the transgressors. Fortunately, the leader have failed to find the common language. The esteemed Bobo is at odds with the clave of the Mechanicus Battle Cogitus, and the Omicide Servants found Rebel's student nature off putting. And neither group is fond of Militant Sobek, who commands my forces. We're not fond to be precise. Esteemed Militant perished along with his ship a week ago when his noble allies failed to support his offensive. I must remind that I'm a Lord of Christopher Sense. Not merely some what you always say, Foster Brock's bothering prick. Set Red Trader at times allows themselves to speak to me in an overly willful manner. Then that should not give you cause to doubt my authority. The choice is clear in your details when you arrive in Albrecht. Oh, smash the heretics. I'm happy to. I never doubt your lordship the Emperor protects. I have no problem in heretics. This document arrests the extraterrestrial powers you now have your suppose I'm counting on you. Success stop, Zona. Happy to get the fuck out of it. There will be no peace in my wake. Destroying the Inquisition? No. Destroying heretics? Right. Back to the ship. Curiosity sings in my veins. What should I say? To the dock ship is the way you have to do it. Now, which way does that lead us? There. Okay, best way there is this way. Well, cats are required by the memory retinue. I believe they will not accept the refusal. <laughs> Who wants to talk to me now? Decks of this bullshit abound as well as dirty colors. Some of your crew spend nodicious gossips about literally collecting people's hearts like victory trophies and that your collection boasts more than one exhibit. Please dispel my doubts or do our feelings for each other count for nothing. Uh oh. You're here, Shireen. 
Even the Dustus Rider can change ahead of two mounts at the same time. Excuse me, and even the most passionate one won't tolerate rivals forever. Cassius. And it's the nature that you are a treasure together for as long as it allows to. If your heart sees clearly what the light lies, all I can do is be glad for you and praise the exalted one. There you go, I I, I happily chose between the two. Oh, like navigator, so it does. Like, I like the cold trader. But it might be more like a flirtatious relationship, whereas like I'd actually have my character have a relationship with Cassius. So, yeah, I feel like I've thrown a hard save for a while. Hmm. One must save often. It is the rule of the world. Right, no suspense. Imagination, love is your creation. They were doing the tune, but I wasn't me. <laughs> it's not safe if you could do anything. Please don't sing Barbie. Right, now, fastest route there is from there to there, 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 back from there. So, here first. Make Shit happen? Hmm? First Jacksonville. They just told me this guy that really was going to play his father. The lady wishes to talk with me. Which I see no problem with. I'm guessing that's why I had to choose between them. Can a kind of person be a navigator and a road trader? Probably wouldn't last very long considering what happens to navigators slowly over time. Are you still toiling? They sounded the signal hours ago. You might overstrain yourself at this rate. Navigators, every time they jump, generally speaking, they get tainted more and more by the warp. Peers at you with worry, but her gaze quickly softens. I don't know this guy. He said he loves everyone, he loves to be, he loves to hear that, and he loves his wife. His wife's like, I didn't even know we were married because it's not his wife. It's wrong. I missed you too, milady. It's a hand. Wait. I have something very important to tell you. Lady Cassius? The time I have spent with you has been the most cherished time of my life. You have freed me from the shackles of fear and disgust at myself. I... I no longer look away from the mirror. I am not ashamed of my powers, and I do not intend to hide from the world inside the cocoon I once built around myself. You... have shown me the world! Without pretense, the way it truly is, cruel, unfathomed, treacherous, and full of the most beautiful things. And I've realized that life is not at all like the books we read. Each one of us writes their own story, as best they can, be it with ink, blood, Paint on a canvas, or a blade that cuts the air. 
And I want... <laughs> by the resplendent throne, I want to write my story together with you. Do you promise to love me till the end of our days? To the last star that actually fades to nothing. Tonight is a special night. <laughs> Let's make sure we never forget it. Looks like she stopped being a noble child and we just straight up had sex. Eight hours later. What an exhilarating feeling. You are turning my head and I do not even want to resist. Oh god, she's a closet maniac. <laughs> you need a bigger bed. I <laughs> you know right. We look so small in that bed. It's like, hang on, let me get on the bed. Character model fits the entire bed. Uh... Right. Uh, yeah. Wait. Well. Report from the middle of Captain Mead, the Alpha Tester who walked the reports on the Vox Trans about a black creature appearing all over the place. Witness accounts claims that it emerged straight from the shadow and it was your pet Dennis Marks who they were interested in. Mandrakes, seven forces perished the battle, but managed to avoid different casualties. The Xenos took out the aggressors. I would not be bothering you with this if we had not determined how the creatures got on the ship. Until we know for sure we won't be able to stop future incursions. They were Mandrakes, they could have infiltrated the ships with the shadows. In that case, guarding the decks against every shadow will not be possible. We will strengthen security details and kill points in the vessel. And hope the incident doesn't happen again. <laughs> yes, yeah, the mandrakes. Unfortunately, you cannot literally stop them. What mandrakes again? <laughs> Think of them as shadow dark. How much time is spent in the warp? Uh oh. The vessel itself, the groan of the bulkheads of what Master reports, it's all happened so many times before and would happen yet again. No matter what occurred, the officers checked the bin, they were running in circles. The voyage across the sea of souls would be eternal. Routine actions bend to great nothingness and fill the crew's hearts of anguish. Many members could submit into the mercy of the kettle cows outside day by day, but the navigator did not give the orders to leave the interior and heed your inner voice. Well, Captain, the sight pierced through the mind-numbing haze, and it appeared the ships of Astropass and Navigators had been sadly alarmed, but their mess had been ignored. Their combined efforts finally broke the time loop and released the vessel from the Imperium's embrace. The warp never tires of its cruel mockery. Luckily, between me and my Navigator, who are both psychic, it's like, no, not dealing with your fucking bullshit. And at last... The uh, wait, wait, wait. Travel there, which is safe. No. There's actually like a green and a red line. I'm so confused. Oh, let's go deal with some demons. Yes, honey. Last time a uh, person from the train has lost them. Are 
know that's going to be rough. Are you crying? Uh, to be fair, I don't think you. I know Ukraine has a lot of really good singers, but like apart from that, I've, huh? Yeah, apart from that, I've not really heard of. Like, I don't think they have a big acting base. I think they're mostly music based, and I think they have really good like um, athletics and stuff as well. To be fair, once he said that, the whole crowd started cheering. What have we got? Really? Oh, Ukraine. What's on the country? I suppose I have said, but. It'd be the Zinchis. Oh. Let us rise after that storm! None of you shall survive! Lots of blue horrors. Lots of. There, where's your vet? Yeah, princess. need to do much to kill things anymore. At least they're blue horrors. Pink horrors break down to blue. Remember correctly, blue don't split, so once we kill these, we kill these straight off. This is a very easy one. Oh, the warlock. Now that's a problem. Death to the warlocks. My faith strengthens me. Amidst the carnage, I find purpose. Loma men. Loma men. Oh yeah, attack of opportunity all you like. I will triumph. Aha! Hello, sir. I hear Purpose you open the portal. Your presence in judgment can be fatal. One step closer. What a satisfying demise. And now you're no longer thinking of portals. Hello demons. How are you today? Purpose guides me. I won't waste my time on that. A little momentum up. Our momentum's fucked right now. Weather the storm. Now, unfortunately, by the looks of it, killing the portal master does not despawn the fucking <clears throat> hey, here we go.
I move as if unseen. Do you see the portal gun? You do. Do me a favor. And his entire. And there you go. Should like right there. I understand your intent. No, I guess it's that. Stop one. trying, monkey. No oh, melee range, go for that. God, they're gonna be so. Of course, just approach. Devastating attack. Whoa, how Thing far? Rapid fire. Vomit. Unleash it's the Dakar. And grenade. Fuck you, that's out. You didn't stand a chance. Break their morale! You say break them out, but can I point out to you, sir? Force grenade the pink horror. Hmm, ah, yeah. pink horror fell down. And for warning, because it won't trigger socket peril. Uh, hunker down. And just analyze A the wicked thought. <laughs> I really need um what made defenses on my ship. I can't trust people. You want to yes i'm happy to did you got wound why did you go in oh we have uh, about 50 minutes please yeah i know i finish early at any point you know just let me know it's fine rejoice <laughs> in service let this be the warning to all who oppose oh, us uh. oh yeah i love you then didn't Swing, sweep. Right, I want the, I want the fun the hammer. Hey, demon. Another step towards our ultimate victory. That. Because uh, gives bonuses to everyone around us. All right, scale. Ah, uh, precise. Oh, that was good for me. I have to have energy drink. Okay. Drink what on Saturday? <laughs> Damn it. Hmm. <laughs> or I tried to hard, hard care. I need no guidance. 
Sammy had big sword. Swing. Ruin beckons. Be wearing my okay. Yeah. Evening. Evening? Yeah. Why just evening? From the kids. I don't understand it. No. That could be part of the six o'clock routine. In that direction. No, I've got covered it. Right. Uh, this tedium is beneath me. I am not going to get the screen on the monkey. Like <sighs> I normally choke this bit. If I must, I understand. Come on, crit. Mm, that was a crit, that won't be. We dash back. Nothing I can't do. Already done. Nothing I can't do. Mr. Pinghor. Prepare to split. Your friends more than you're hitting us, you know that, right? Oh, maximum target kill. How predictable that Maximum target kill. Fate claims another one. A genius. A predictable downfall. I don't know, do it on that as well. I won't sully myself with that. You even see anyone to hit right now. No, you can't. Oh, but you can move. I am powerless to act. Another stroke of genius! He dead. <laughs> Momentum continues to... We see your attempts at shooting us. Choo choo goes. Let this be a warning to all who oppose us. Hmm, is that a range? Need to fix that. Doing the act. Ooh, another step towards our ultimate victory. Uh, 
And so shall it be done. I can't allow myself to do this. <laughs> no. My own. Advance on the target. No. There's nothing left alive over here. So go this way. I move swiftly to strike. This tedium is beneath. We're coming for you. Literally, you're just basic soldiers. You don't stand a fucking chance. All too easy. Suits my purposes. Honestly, I feel sorry for you. I really do. <coughs> Already done. You just delete us. Maximum politics. And now we love. Oh, choose a second octave. Choose a warp. Presence. No, I think I'm at peak psychic. There's the. Alright. That's what makes the enemy suffer two times as you bonus percentage armor. Deflection. Alright. Um. Lucy Shadow. I suppose I can make it so I don't get targeted. What? Uh, at the same time, I don't know. Maybe for later. Biomancy. And I will take Ballistic. Mmm. <coughs> Not getting knocked over, that would probably be most useful. Okay, so DD can't get any stronger. So then DD will choose to hit better. What the fuck does guard take? Uh, probably kick at this point, just in case he does get stuck in melee, even though he can dash out pretty much. Um, I feel like Ballista Skills a mute point.
the same time, I suppose having better. There's aim. Same time, strength. <coughs> and again, uh. Agility's demolition, right? Yeah. Mr. Grand Strategist. Uh, take trench line. So we don't have that yet. Trench line definitely good. Okay, you can't get more intelligence. I feel you must get additional ballistic skill then. Because shoot better. Claim the bounty. There's only four times BS bonus percent of the banner's usual damage. So BS and perception. My BS would be six. My perception would be eight. So eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Times four, uh, double four to be twenty eight from forty fifty six, so just over half. All hot on the trail. No, we'll do claim the bandage to charge attack, then I can start spamming it against everything. Oh, ballista skill would help, but at the same time, I want to have perception or awareness to be higher. It's more bonus to the damage. Yes. That is epic. And what can we give Sammy? Poised to strike, killing edge. Although she looks like a character there, I don't know if I've got clone. So, a, this will not hit like the attack, or... Poised to strike. And I want Sammy to be able to hit better. Can't get stronger, zero out of ten worst game. Yeah, you're limited how many strength uh, how many strength you get. I mean did you your 85 strength. I'm pretty sure you're stronger than the fucking space marine. And it's a space Hi. marine. Besides, if you if you take better to hit this time, at least you can uh, turn on the head. At least you can hit the more dodgy ones. The enhancement, yeah. I mean, in the tabletop, prove a skill by three, so that's plus fifteen. All right, uh, we're here, right? It's So this is the world that is currently under siege. Look, Captain. Mighty Corsa swore to a militia fleet is ready to attack the heretics who took this place. The commander recognizes the increase in sanction, agrees to code the right of spring command to you. They ask that you summon a council war in order to establish the plan of attack. Summon the war council. Consider it done your lordship. I will notify the commander so you're ready to meet with them. Here's what we do. We load DD into the cannon and we point them at the enemy. <laughs> A 
I fear that falls under war crimes. <laughs> DD, these are heretics. No such thing as against, of war crimes against heretics. Oh, hey, look, it's Biss Wolf. At the very age. Hey, Opticon 22, unit Opticon 22, initiating identification, official greeting procedures, unlocking options of strategical data exchange. Four board Ironhide. Ooh. Which one of you Huskars is Dark Persona of Von Funk I am four board Ironhide and I wish to see the mortal who granted the honor of leading my pack to battle. Do you face oh. Smash you in not such fashion? I know the habits of worry when I see one. You are no idiot project. Good. I give my approval. We will hunt sorry heretics together. Yes, brain. Literally, Space Wolves would literally look at you and go, You're an actual proper warrior. We like you. Here, have alcohol. Quick kill some shit. That is literally how they are. Whereas they turn and look at a politician and they'll just probably kill the politician. You haven't changed, Brother Forward. Up pity and bracing without measure. And you carry yourself on another's the car like it is your own. Wolf burst into brew, laugh and bears his fangs. Such is the breed of leaders, Ufa. We stand out. Is you ever lost who can't find his way when the sun is right on his head? Article 22. How do you go from logistics to war council? This command promotion hierarchy status update was executed following the death decommission to construction of the ship Temple of the Wrath. The fleet's war conclave was operating aboard that vessel. Unit 22 received premature rank promotion modernization to Magus Thomas based on his extensive catalog of recorded combat engagement. May your service befit from the updated protocols that were bestowed upon you and the new analytical data that was entrusted to your ludications. May the Armistice Guide operate unit in his cause, mission, algorithm of service to him. Let us commence the War Council. What good is another War Council with a cog priest who knows not the joys of battle who cut off his parts or can to please his all-knowing master? His will's purpose only a cowardly plan on worthy of warriors as his custom to his brethren. Registering a show of impertinence, data insufficient in regard to music, craft, eradication methods of Adeptus Mechanicus. Asha, are you having another fight, gentlemen? How predictable. Thank you for not starting without me, Acolyte. Asha, dispatched by Lord Inquisitors, facilitate the operations of the 2. My features in the War Council are those of an advisor. The woman's words are drowned out by a growing headache, irritation, contempt, disappointment, racked your mind like a three tailed whip accompanied by a hundred. I do not serve the ruined powers. <laughs> the time of daybreak is almost upon us. You have failed to make the correct choices at the crossroads of fate. The truth that is hidden from the Moon's corpse emperor could have eliminated your sight, granted you boundless freedom. But you proved too weak. You would not fight, you would not listen to the child on worthy of the truth of a blind boy. Shall we begin the war council, or shall we rather wait for the heretic to corrupt this planet completely? Asha, why are you here? Lord Incredit trusted me with the task of forging an alliance between assembling the fleet and the forces of Clarkland's fleet. Once the task is complete, I am to act as an observer and a special operative. And Oppenheimer 
again. No, otherwise I'm not allowed to spend too much time otherwise with this ship. Probably, yeah. More your responsibilities as a special operative. I'm afraid the Lord and Christopher didn't give me the authority to elaborate on this matter. There's no surprise in my heart. The Inquisition is always too ashamed of its dark deeds to reveal to honourable fighters. There'll be no spitting aboard my ship. <laughs> nah. What troops can you spare to reinforce our army? The militia forces have already been transferred to Otacon 22. All they have left them, my command is a tactical unit, especially instructed to carry out Lord and Christopher's special arrangement. <coughs> I see. It's about time we moved on to discussing how we intend to kill the heretics. Complete situation. Forge well, manufacturers, instructions, take up most of the surface upon crossing and spreading the mechanical The heretics enhanced their ranks with possessed me and false directive traitorous Sigatari whose protocols were disfigured with indoctrinating scrap code. Our forces have secured minor footholds on the surface but unable to live an effective blow to the headquarters operational centre of the profane and the machine spirit citadels at the heart of Manufactorium. Sigma S13, according to the available data, is the current location of the arch heretic, the nation target, the Dark Apostle, or the other brawl. I was one figure we leaked you at the largest concentration of enemy commanders. We may outnumber the enemy, but ours is a poor war band. All his steel cars of the Omissire and scathely trained serfs from across the expanse, while our foe is a detestable but nevertheless deadly putrid hated traitors of the ranks of the world bearers, and the vessel protects the machine citadel from orbit. I could blow up their vessels, let me out. Why have you not commenced military assault? There is conflict quickly there. I'll tell like I understand if the Imperial of Operation within our chain of command. If for our high is in favour of strategy and mass destruction, which will constitute an unfavourable violation of right of operation. Every square metre of the manufactorums is sacred and highly productive value. Which is why the cult priests are so intent on hindering and sabotaging assault by refusing our forces and leading deckers, but forward Ironhide won't fight on the terms of priests. If my battle plans rejected on side servants can racket the plant themselves. Maybe they think their lives mean nothing compared to the precious cathedrals, but a wolf knows what his life is worth. What? You're high in love, Tom. Not stupid. Request denied, the on side. Mr. Procedures conducted in effort two are to remain undisclosable into the protocol vow of preservation of the hollowed of the profane. This is why, fairness, we have priests follow the warriors, not the other way around. The priests never think about the battle ahead, only. They're tenants and taboos, but a wolf, a wolf must think of battling his enemy's death. Preserving cathedrals or counting trophies that await him. <laughs> yup. Yeah, I do, Didi. Okay, what do you reckon the plan should be? Uh, towards a full scale offensive at ultimate course of action, the loss among the troops, as if personal loyalty, will be numerous but not exceed acceptable powers. Pension losses will be less than arduous than restoring the damage that may otherwise have come to manufactorums. What would you do if you were in command? I would rain down vengeful sky upon the enemy. I would plough the land of shells, scatter their defences, lower the fortified towers, throw the host of the spray, and in a whirlwind of fear, I'd leave my glorious pack to pay for blood for the cog cars. I heard your opinions on this. Choose your strategy wisely. It's not every day that you get to heed the advice of a seasoned warrior. But you're not along so well, do you? You read hearts like described room stop persona. It is true, my brother and I grow tired of the cog priest in his nest, eh? For whatever reason, he thinks himself our lord. I concur with this statement. Given the military action that could possibly crusade eradication procedures take place on a world devoted to the machine god or to insist his previous status in the matter of strategic operation. <laughs> okay, so I've got a law. Persuasion. I'm gonna try the persuasion. Succeeded! Of course, this turns purple, but he cannot come up with a retort. Lowers his head repentant. And that's out of it by trill. Neither of them can find words to rebuff your point of acquisition. I shall now present to you the plans of the assault. Stop bickering, let's fight together. First step is obvious. We eliminate the machine cathedral orbital support, but what plan to assault strategy would you choose for instruction in the void fleet? <coughs> Bomb 
bombarding. Send him in. The plan bores me. Not the space for way war, but such character strategies are the limit of the old psycho cows. Do so you have my approval? My pack will do what is asked of it and stand back on assault until we meet in the battlefield up persona. And I say the same to you. It's a pity your pack will not share in the glorious victory of us. The boastful Grosset talks too much about my pack. He knows where my brothers are and I can smell it. Before we drive into the carnage, summon him to your ship and let me question him. I wish to hear what he knows. Well, he still hasn't lost his prevailing tongue to the heretics. As Ottomans or Dates Qatari types of programs, transmitting unit generals, a phrase for offensive action. Long Chris will be delighted in the news that came seven months of orders to establish a command. I wish you luck, Rogue Trader. I believe we're about to get into a very big fight. Scanning. Orbital battle. <clears throat> Her took place in the center of the attack formation. The right flank was guarded by the sacred combat vessels that to Mechanicus. The left consisted of combined force of Lord and Christa, headed by three of the normal space balls. Continue. The enemy deployed their ships in a wide arc in an attempt to surround the squadron. The heretic's plan was not meant to be. Sent their detachments forward, trying the enemy in combat, and presented Lord Captain with the chance to deliver a blow to the very heart of the enemy position. With a flagship that faces to many, awaited their final hour. <laughs> Morning tubes! Earth has fired a DD to the heart of the enemy ships. Everyone else? Let the macro cannons soar and the torpedoes fly. Literally, when the boarding ship goes over to deliver DD, DD has a crew with him. Their job is not to fight. Their job is not to, um, you know, protect DD. No, their job is to fire a lot of sensitive into DD and drag them back to the ship when it's time to leave. Mighty machine spirit, lend us a modicum of thy power. It's a single heavy cruiser. Ow. Ow. Okay, so it's launched fighters. Right. Pets come about. Order priority, master vengings, DD, shunt this ship. We're going right down there. Fucking throats. Want a bit scan? Rain destruction upon our enemies. Look on and launch. Commence torpedo launch. Alright. Target the fighters first. If I go through that, I guess that damage my ship. Full ahead. Engage the macro cannon! Destruction upon our enemies. Uh, we have a destination to reach. Prepare the land. This is final. Deliver their demise.
Oh yeah, also I get rid of as many fighters as possible. Luckily, they're mostly fighters. Don't go into the... So I said, going through that definitely hurts. Ow. Ow. Oh yes, park right there. Hmm, that could be a problem. Okay, now to self, torpedoes go into a... Uh... You like that? Okay, if they go in there, that's not good. Okay. Either way, I'm going to have to go through this stuff. I don't really have much of a choice. Let the macro cannons sing their ow, deadly ow, 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 ow. Lock on and launch. Send our enemies to the void. Lock on and launch. Unleash our Hesitate. Show no mercy. Uh, if I refresh anyone's abilities, would it help me right now? Not really. This fight is actually hard. Despite if I thought she was very well upgraded. Gotcha. 
Forge the devastating payload! Full ahead! And uh, reboost our shields. Yes, target the puppy doors, please and thank you all. Oh, it's not that late. It's still my normal time. The 10 minutes until I finish up my normal time? Kaboom, motherfucker! Okay, that's uh, these torpedoes do nothing to fight us. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't I want to heal Right. Um. But we were successful. The siege. Right. We're saving in here because there's no point getting into the siege because I'm either going to get cut themed or have a lot of talking before the fight starts. So, let me see if I can raise someone. We can start the siege tomorrow. That's a two. I just need to wait for it to save so I can close the game. <clears throat> Saving, considering, preparing to move on. Ah, there we go. Let me see who I can find to raid. 